a project for you today, and it involves a brand new part. The code is going to be pretty much stuff you've seen before, which will be fine. The more we keep using that old stuff, the more you'll get it down. Today we have a brand new part we're going to use. It's going to be a RGB LED, and I think you'll find it very interesting. So let's go ahead and switch views. Here's the new part kind of hiding in the corner there. This is the RGB LED. This is the normal LED. Side by side, this gives us one color. And the RGB, which stands for red, green, blue, gives us um, lots of colors. Today, though, we're going to just try to get this thing to go a red and a green and a blue. Now, with the regular LED, we had to uh, keep in mind that uh, we, we had to put it, the part inside of our circuit in a certain way. We had to be mindful of the long leg. The long leg had to go to a positive. Now on the RGB LED, we have a long leg right here. This one has to go into ground. It also orients us. It tells us that this other leg is the red, and this one's the green, and this one's the blue. So let's go ahead and wire this up. Move this one out of the way. And I'm just going to plug them in like that. Move over here so you can see what I did. I gotta keep in mind that that wire right there is my long one. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that by taking a black wire immediately sending that over to my Arduino into the ground like that. Now I don't have to worry about that long wire. And it also lets me know that this wire over here is the red, that's the green, and that's the blue. Okay, so I actually grabbed a red, a green, and blue wire. You don't have to do that. And we're just going to work our way across. We're going to use the uh, digital pins on our Arduino. It doesn't matter which ones we use. I'm just going to start with the 11. Do the green one next. I'm going to do that one in 10. And the last one, the blue one, we'll use 9. So I'll give a little tilt here so you can see what I've done. I've got the 11, 10, and 9, and each one goes into a different leg. I've color-coded mine. That's all there's to it. So let's go ahead and do some coding. We're going to do uh, pin mode again. We need to tell the Arduino what each pin use is, is going to be sending something out of it, or do I have like a sensor that I'm going to be bringing information into the pin, and we're going to be sending information out to or the LED to turn it on. So we're going to do pin 11 output, if I can spell here, what? Okay, and just so we're using our skills, let's go ahead, instead of writing 11, 10, and 9, let's go ahead and declare a variable, and let's call pin 11 uh, red. It's going to be 11. Now the computer doesn't normally recognize red. The values that it does recognize is changes color, and it doesn't know what red is, so we're telling it, okay, here's a new variable, red. It's going to be an integer, and its value is going to be 11. Let's do the same thing for green. Let's make that to be 10. And let's do one for blue. Oh, I don't want to forget. I'm doing lowercase for everything. And so let's keep it all lowercase. Let's also declare some variable for the amount of time we leave things on. And let's do like one second and off. Let's have that be a fraction of a second, quarter of a second. 
and I'll use all of this in our code down below here as we create it. So let's go back to pin mode. So instead of uh, 11, we're going to do red. And then pin, whoop, what is going on, Mr. Brower? Pin mode, green, and output. And my fingers are just like slightly shifted for some reason. Okay, output. Pin mode, blue, our wire nine. It's also an output. So that works for that. Now we know each of these pins are sending stuff out of it. Now we can get to the uh, the business end here. What are we sending out? We're going to do digital write, and the digital write needs two inputs, two parameters. It needs to know what pin you're going to send um, an on or off out of, and we're going to use the red pin, which is the 11. We're going to send that make it high and then we'll have a delay and we'll have it be on we're going to select the, the delay time that we've already declared up here as 1000 and we're going to turn it off the same pin red we're going to set it off and the time being off, we've already selected as 250. Okay. All right, so we got pin mode. Selecting that pin is going to be an output, and we're sending a high out of that for one second and a low out of it for a quarter second. Is it one second or half second? One second, then half second. Quarter second. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with that. I should speed this up. Make it a quick transition from one color to the next. Now this is basically going to be repeated three times. So let's go ahead and do that. Except I got a I should have spaced in between those. So this will be for the green, this will be for the blue. So we gotta do a little surgery here. Make that green. Make that green. Make that blue. And make that blue. That looks pretty good. So we've got each of the colors coming on one at a time. And just turning it on and off, going back to start. Alright, I'm feeling good about that. Let's go ahead and grab the right USB cable here. This is Type B. It's Type B. There's like type A, B, C, and D or something like that, I think this is B. And the other end is already in the computer. Got some lights going on, so I know we're getting power. And let's hit, uh, actually before we do that, let's go to tools. Make sure we've got the UNO board selected, and we've got the highest available COM number, which is 31, already pre-selected for us, so that's good. And let's hit uh, the upload button. And look over our code, see if there's any errors. Give us a message if there is. And if it doesn't find any errors, then it will um, compile it or translate this into um, a language that the computer understands. This is human friendly, but it's got to be translated into computer friendly. And we have an error, so let's go and fix this. It's saying it's highlighting where it thinks the error is and giving us some little suggestions. We've got uh, the wrong ending here to our sentence, so to speak. We've got to go to the semicolon. So let's go ahead and re-upload that. It gives us a chance to prime our brain a little bit. Right above my head there, we've got the green bar. We're waiting for. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so immediately it starts. And we're cycling through the red, the green, and the blue. Now on the camera, they kind of look not as crisp as with my own eyeball. Let's make one change to this. 
let's uh, manipulate the time a little bit. Let's go back to maybe you think that's too fast or not fast enough. I'll let you decide. Let's I should go faster, right? Let's let's make this be quarter second and let's cut that time in half. Whoop. Let's do um two five. Make a little modification here. We could do something with a little bit of pip compiling. Come on, you can do it. And uploading. Done. All right, now we got some. Now we're, we're rolling along. Again, my camera view is not as good as the view for my eyes. They're nice, good colors coming out of the RGB. Okay, so. I think we're done. Let's uh, call this project done and we will see you in the next video.